hello everybody welcome to the channel in this video i want to correct a very uh, big misconception um among cosmetic formulator about the best way to check the ph of your product i know you must have come across different different options online people telling you no you can go ahead and check the ph right away by you know just putting your just dipping your pH meter into into your product and just check the pH like that. No, if you have an emulsion like cream, okay, lotion, um, and so on, or shampoo, anything that that is in the form of an emulsion that is a bit viscous like this, there's no way you can check the proper pH by just dipping your pH meter into it. No. Now let me tell you something about pH. pH is the measure of the potential hydrogen ion uh, in your product and there's no way you can properly check this without dissolving it in H2O water. Okay remember water H2O has two hydrogen ions H2H and zero oxygen ion. Now how do we check the potential hydrogen ion concentration of an emulsion? The proper way is to dissolve it in H2O okay so when you dissolve it in h2o it makes it better but do not take my word for it let's do this two together so what we're going to do sorry about the on the background noise that's my daughter the kids are at home so it's a bit on the after side now make sure you you have already calibrated your ph meter if you do not know how to calibrate your ph meter look on this channel i did a very extensive uh, video on that okay and i think that is going to help you out so I'm using HANA pH meter. So make sure your pH meter is calibrated. Now, I have a, a lotion here, a very good lotion. And keep in mind, this lotion was made with a vegan uh, emulsifier. I told you about Natural Wax S a few weeks ago. It's a vegan emulsifier, so you can look in the description box below. This emulsifier is the best emulsifier, natural, vegan, skin friendly and you're going to love it in your product so that's what i used to make uh this dragon blood uh, lotion okay i use it to make organic dragon blood lotion and it's very because it's organic you're not allowed to color it so that's why it's white now i want to check the ph first using just directly dipping my ph meter into this okay so i'll dip the ph meter into this to see what comes up I hope you can see it. I don't think this is going to be accurate. It will not be that accurate. It's going to, from my own testing, it's going to be a little bit behind, okay? There's no way your pH meter can accurately measure the hydrogen ion concentration in your emotion directly, okay? No, it will not do a good job. The appropriate pH of this shouldn't be this, okay? But we're going to wait and see what our pH meter measures. So I'm dipping this directly into my lotion to see what we have. So at this stage, it gave me 4.5, right? I know it's not accurate because there's no way. It gave me 4.5, right? Now, I'm going to rinse my pH meter. Then I'm going to do it the proper way. Then we will be able to know it's very important you rinse your pH meter on here if you want to get accurate reading. Now, the proper way that I do it, remember we got 4.5, right? So keep that in mind. The proper way that I know how to do it, I always recommend is using, you take 1% of your lotion So I'm going to scoop 1% of my lotion. Okay. Then we're going to add, so we have 1% here. We're going to add 9% water to make it 10%, okay? 9% water. 
to make it 10%. Then you're going to make sure that is properly diluted. Now this dilution will not do for you. I always tell my friends, you know, this dilution will not do for you. You have to be able to mix it a little bit more. So I'm using a mic frotter here to mix it a little bit more. Okay, and that's that's perfect. That's what you want now. Now it's lighter. We'll be able to measure the proper um, pH, potential hydrogen ion concentration. So note that down. pH is the measure of the potential hydrogen ion concentration in your product. And here you can see. Now I have 4.9. pH is not the measure of the concentrated hydrogen ion concentration. You understand? No. Potential. That's why you have to put it in water. It's the measure of the potential hydrogen ion concentration. So that's why you don't really need to use the concentrated emulsion directly. No. You will get the wrong, wrong reading. And it gave me 5.0. Now, can you see the difference from 4.5? To 5.0 so do not do not do not again I'll check it again so you see um, normally my pH meter when you put it like that it's going to stay it's going to stay in the last reading it won't go back so that's why it gave us for 5.0 so you can see the difference imagine you just saying okay it's 4.5 no it's going it's just going to mess you up you won't get the right reading so do not listen to self acclaimed experts that are telling you just dip it directly in your emotion then you're going to get the accurate result no you're going to get a wrong result okay remember we use the same pH meter to check the concentration with the emotion itself it gave us 4.5 that's wrong reading you have to dissolve it in water okay okay dissolve it take one percent of your emotion whether you shampoo anything in emotion form dissolve it in nine percent water okay that's called ten percent concentration and put in your ph meter you're going to get accurate reading so this no this yes accurate reading i hope this uh, zeppy hop are uh, enough so if you want to learn um or if you want to upgrade your formulation skill i think I can say if you want to upgrade your formulation skill, join me at stablecosmeticformulas.com. That's where I teach um, graduate of Formula Botanica, graduate of online school, uh, more formulation skill, one project at a time. Okay, so we have a professional formulation project, we have a stable cosmetic formula for skincare brand owner, and also we have a mini formulation training for uh, beginners who are open minded. Okay. Beginners who are open-minded can take advantage of and everything together is in, for one sign up. When you sign up one, you have access to everything and some very, very information models, okay, about uh, recommended uh, preservative, uh, you know, your pr the best process uh, for making your product and so on and so forth. We have it there at Table Cosmetic Formula. So head over there now to see exactly what I have. This is where I mentor my student. A lot of people ask me for mentorship here on YouTube. I do not give free mentorship. But for my student at StableCosmeticFormulas.com, you will be able to have access directly to me for mentorship uh, throughout the year of your membership. You have free mentorship and I also help you to stabilize your formulation. So thanks so much everyone for watching. I hope this has sorted uh, the common misconception about checking, checking your pH. Thank you for watching everyone. I wish you happy formulating.